from this point and on when we do depreciation calculation, you have to pay attention to what is the asset's cost. Just like earlier when we mentioned asset cost includes transportation costs, the purchase price, you add them together. Then you subtract any residual value that goes into depreciable costs. Okay, what this means is residual value is the leftover value of the asset. When an asset is purchased into the business, we usually estimate it the useful lifetime, which is really is the golden years for the asset, the years that the asset will perform most efficiently and effectively. So earlier that example was using the asset for five years. That doesn't mean that after five years the asset will not be running at all. That just means that the five years is the major years that the asset could be used most efficiently. So usually when it reaches the point of fifth year, the company would decide to either reevaluate that asset and either continue to use it or throw it away or trade it in for other assets. Okay, so the residual value is the expected cash value after you use it to the very last year. If you sell it to other markets, the second hand market, what is the cash value that you can get back for that asset? Okay, so it's the leftover value for each and every asset. Now the cost of the asset, I just mentioned this earlier, the purchase price mainly and then other transportation costs add them together. But typically most of the problem will directly tell you what is the original purchase cost. And then it will tell you what is the leftover value and you just use the net of these and then you spread it along the years for straight line method. Okay, so depreciable cost this is really the part that we will be depreciating later on. Residual value we excluded because that's the part when we reach the fifth year, that's the value that we expect to get from when we trade it or when we sell it. So we don't depreciate that leftover value. So meaning that if an asset worth $40,000, the purchase price, and let's say the estimated residual value is 1000 then we only depreciate $39,000. This is a depreciable cost. And we spread this along, let's say, 10 years, and we divide it by 10. If it's five years, we divide it by five. Okay, so we only depreciate this part here along the years. We don't depreciate the leftover value because it's the value that later we estimate we'll be getting when we sell it or trade it. Okay, another way to say residual value is the salvage value. These are interchangeable terms. Basically, again, the leftover value that you can get. Okay. 